what is one experience or thing that happened that you're extremely grateful for that has prominently shaped you into who you are today? Can anybody tell me what this is? Meeting with Pavaji. Meeting with Pavaji. Meeting with Pavaji. Meeting with Pavaji. So what is one experience? My experience? Yes. Oh, I thought you talk about yourself. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, so nice. mm -hmm, my experience. Yes, for me, meeting a very extraordinary person very early in life is something which I am ever, ever thankful about. Because uh, that time I was like clay, you know, shapeless. He managed to put me into some kind of a frame, but which didn't freeze. It's not a frozen frame, it keeps changing, it keeps moving. So that was brought about by a person whom I call my teacher, my guru. I think I'm always indebted to him, that. Always thankful whenever I think he saved me from becoming an idiot, actually. Uh, in the early days, once I went to Banaras in the morning, four o'clock I went and jumped into the Ganga to have a bath. Because I thought that was penance, you know. Babaji called me at nine o'clock. He said, I thought I was going to make you into sort of a Buddha. I made you into a Buddha. <laughs> Who would go and jump at four o'clock? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? He said, 11.30, 12, when the water is warm, go have a bath. I said, but I wanted to meditate. Yeah, he said, you can meditate without that early morning freezing bath. So, you see, practical, full of wisdom, kind. He used to walk on the Gangotri glacier barefoot. He always made sure I had shoes. Muffler le liya kya? Did you take the muffler? Did you... Because he said, if you imitate me, you'll die. So, I learned one important lesson. Don't imitate anybody, good or bad. Have your own. So, all these things make me feel very grateful to this being. There's no more physically. I think that's what you were asking. No? This is just a continuation of this. How often now uh, you interact with Baba? I don't need to. He taught me to be free and stand on my own feet. This is what I'm trying to tell everybody. Everybody is dependent, pulling my leg. One day I'll fall down and hurt myself. Doesn't matter, I'm saying. No, I don't need him. I don't need to. Because I'm built like him now. There is nothing to learn or... Uh, this is what I am. You should also stand on your own feet after a while, not be dependent. Mm. Be like Swami Vivekananda. He stood on his own. Although he got great respect for his teacher, he was not like him. He was quite independent on his own. So, what I am trying to say is, we shouldn't be in the process of making, uh, what is it called? Replicas. Huh? Replicas. Replicas. <laughs> Not even replicas. Uh, mutation. A clone. <laughs> that is. <laughs> we shouldn't be in the business of making clones, you know. Each, look, we are trying to have a nice, beautiful garden. What is a beautiful garden? Which has many kinds of flowers. Hmm? We are not trying to make lotuses into only roses. We want only roses in the... No. We want all kinds of flowers. Then only the garden is good. You can't make this into that. Not possible. Make a good rose into a good rose. Now, for teachers, I am saying, if you interact with these uh, young friends of yours, you will find out that different people have different aspirations, different characters. So, Try to help them build that. Don't try to put them all into one mold. Stamp. The world has many such people. And this is the result we have today. Uh, my master, Babaji, my teacher, you asked me, he used to tell me that 
the present world, if it is the result of a thousand years of sanity, is better to be insane. 